डॉक्टर सुजाता शर्मा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वेरी रिलेवेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज जोनोटिक डिजीजेस एज अ नेम सजेस्ट जोनोटिक डिजीज सिंपली मींस अ डिजीज व्हिच हैज बीन ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम एनिमल्स टू ह्यूमंस व्हाई इज इट सो इंपॉर्टेंट टू टॉक एंड स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस फॉर जोनोटिक डिजीजेस इज बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ द एपिडेमिक्स एंड द पैंडेमिक्स दैट द ह्यूमन काइंड इज ग्रैपलिंग विद राइट नाउ आर जोनोटिक इन नेचर and it is expected that even in the future all the new diseases are going to have zoonotic origins so i'm going to talk about what exactly are zoonotic diseases what are the causes of zoonotic diseases why is it impossible to completely eliminate them however once we understand the causes it is possible to control them so let's get started like i said before it's an infectious disease which is caused by a pathogen that has jumped from an animal to humans the spread could be either through direct contact or through an agent like food water or the environment in the 21st century zoonotic diseases have exploded all over the place now we have something like more than 200 diseases which are zoonotic in nature and in terms of number frequency and diversity there has been a tremendous increase so much so that about 60% of all human diseases are zoonotic in nature and 75% of all infectious diseases are zoonotic now this is the way zoonotic diseases are classified it's either according to the causative agent that is virus bacteria amoeba fungi and prion covid-19 and aids are uh, examples of zoonotic diseases which are spread through virus anthrax and plague are examples of zoonotic diseases which are caused by bacteria amoeba is through amoeba ringworm through fungi and bovine spongiform encephalopathy also known as mad cow disease is spread by prions now these are some of the examples of zoonotic disease that we this is that we have seen in the last 20 years in 2003 first we saw severe acute respiratory syndrome that is sars and uh, closely related to it was middle eastern respiratory syndrome that is mers in 2012 and these two were related to sars cov2 which uh, caused covid-19 in 2019 in 2009 we saw swine flu and 2010 we saw rift valley fever and 2014 we saw avian flu and ebola and in 2015 zika and uh, of course covid-19 in 2019 and monkey pox in 2022 now after discussing what a zoonotic disease is and how much they are spreading i'll get to the causes of zoonotic disease which are very important to understand so that we know how to control them the first and the most important cause is climate change climate change causes rise in temperature increase in precipitation in soil and floods all these things lead to spread of zoonotic hosts and vectors and also they stimulate the rate of reproduction also pollution all kinds of pollutions are responsible for the emergence of zoonotic diseases that's because uh, because of pollution there is a release of toxic compounds in the environment that decreases immunity of human beings and pollution also leads to mutations and horizontal gene transfer of pathogen that leads to extremely dangerous pathogens which are resistant to most of the drugs the third cause is unplanned urbanization that's because unplanned urbanization leads to high population density in certain areas but which makes it very difficult to control various diseases unhygienic conditions also and finally it also leads to easy transmission of pathogens because of overcrowding habitat fragmentation and deforestation is another cause of zoonotic disease emergence because this leads to movement of animals towards human de- dwellings that increases the interaction of humans and animals and that is why it is e- so easy to jump for the pathogens to jump from animals to humans intensive livestock farming also increases the interaction between uh, humans and animals and especially when it is done in poor sanitation conditions and there is an unsafe disposal of animal waste and also farming of wild animals which should not actually be done exhausted exhaustive agricultural practices 
such as pesticides that lead to poor health, immunocompromised population, and also these pesticides lead to mutations and pathogens. And that, again, the mutations cause so emergence of pathogens which are resistant to most of the antibiotics that we have. And then, of course, a very important point is why are zoonotic diseases so impossible to eliminate? That's because uh, unlike uh, smallpox, in which you could have exhaustive uh, vaccination campaigns and eliminate the disease, you can't do it here because zoonotic diseases have animal reservoirs. They live in animals as well as in humans. So you can vaccinate humans, but you can't really vaccinate all the animals that are found. So they cannot be eradicated through vaccination. And as a result, they always exist no matter however much you try to control them. Finally, it's expected that the next pandemic will also be zoonotic, as I had said right before I started the slides. What we can do to control is, of course, as you might have seen from the causes, we have to cut down on pollution, climate change, and one world, one health, uh, phenomenon has to be taken care of, but the three dogmas are healthcare. We have to improve the healthcare. We have to take care of surveillance so that we are able to already anticipate uh, which are the zoonotic uh, diseases that we may have right now or we're going to have in the future. And finally, science promotion. We have to increase the awareness of uh, zoonotic diseases. We have to promote the idea of understanding what zoonotic diseases are, what causes them, and it is our own behavior, human behavior, careless uh, behavior, uh, and irresponsible behavior, which is leading to pollution, climate change, that is uh, further leading to zoonotic diseases. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video and subscribe to my channel, Science Popularization by Professor Sujata Sharma, to um, watch more of such videos. Thank you so much.